Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is my monthly buys and buys video. So this is my video where I go through basically a monthly haul as well as my monthly empties. I like to do them side by side to kind of see what's coming in, what's going out. It never really adds up. <laughs> um, and earlier this year I was doing a no buy that got broken in May. I was going to do a no buy from January through to June. It got broken in May. Um, again, kind of broken this month. It was going to go to end of June. I did purchase stuff this month that was not replacement only, um, but there are things that are replacement. So it's like a half broken. Um, but yeah, we're kind of tra transitioning back into, I would say not full on, like I'm not throwing, throwing it out. <laughs> um, we're just going to kind of keep it reined in for a little bit longer. Um, I mean, there's still some things I want to buy. So July is a tough month <laughs> to keep it reined in because it's my birthday month. Um, and yeah, that's basically, I have no other excuse other than it's my birthday month. Also, you might notice that I'm zoomed out a little bit than normal, and my, my angle's a little different than normal because I have a tiny little pipsqueak here. <laughs> he's so little. Um, he's my new little foster. His name is Luffy, which I've now discovered is an anime character. <laughs> I was like, that's such a weird name. Like, did they forget the F? Like, did someone, you know, you know, back in the day when, you know, fathers would register their children or like families came from other countries but didn't have like, you know, reading and writing skills, so names got changed. I was like, did, did they just mess up with his name? But no, Luffy is, I think, I think that's what he's named after. Um, he is a nine year old Maltese and he has a bite history. Um, so he was scheduled to be euthanized out of province, so they don't euthanize dogs in Ontario unless they're like a major behavioral issue um, but they don't euthanize them here in Ontario unless there's like a major major problem I mean he was <laughs> he's definitely in rough shape um, but he is like a whole new man I've only had him this is day number five so I'm still learning a lot about him but as you can see he's he's pretty I mean <laughs> he's chill right now He's not chill for a nine-year-old. He has a ton of energy. Um, but anyway, I'll throw up a little picture of him because you can't really see him right now because um, he's he's having a little snoozle. snoozle. Um, he definitely likes to walk. Uh, he's like Harley, Luffy, day, night. Or maybe Harley was definitely more the night, the sleepyhead. And he's definitely more the like bright sunshine, lots of energy. Um, like they're almost complete opposites in terms of personality. So it's definitely an adjustment for me, um, getting to learn what he's like, um, you know, what, you know, what's going on with him kind of thing. So we're still in a learning phase, but I will say early, <laughs> early prognosis, I am really surprised at how good he is. Um, again, he has some quirks. We've, we've had, we've discovered a couple quirks, <laughs> but all dogs have their quirks. Anyway, I could talk about dogs and talk about this kind of thing forever. We're going to go into the buys and buys, but we're going to do it differently today. I normally do the haul part first and then I do the empties after. I'm going to do the empties first because I feel like a couple of the empties make more sense. A couple of the buys make more sense after I talk about the empties. I hope that makes sense. Although it would have made a little bit more sense in a different way. But anyway, we're going to do the empties first. We're going to do the empties first. Does that sound like a good plan? He's a very curious little fellow. Oh, there we go. Out of focus. <laughs> okay. So I have a few other. So how I do it? Empties. I do the spiel every time. I count specific things as empties in like dollar value. There's some other things that I'll talk about as other um, and sometimes I declutter items which don't count towards the empty value because I didn't actually empty them. So from an other point of view, I do have a, a body wash and why this, why is this body wash not a beauty item? Cause this is like a utilitarian, utilitarian, ul, no utilitarian. Oh my gosh. I just had a total brain fart. Ul, I think it's utilitarian. Oh my gosh. I need to now look this up. Utilitarian. Thank you. Oh. Sometimes words are hard. No, they're not. My brain just doesn't function sometimes. Um, this is a utilitarian type product to me. Like if this is something my dad or my brothers would use, I try, I generally don't include them as a beauty item because they're just like a general, if I were to like not do my channel anymore, never buy a beauty product, I would still need to buy like 
something to clean myself that's like generic and cheap um, and this is it and I liked this this was fine this was actually in my bathroom at my family house and I finished it up actually there was a, there's a little tiny bit left I was kind of like trying to get it out but there's a little bit that I can't quite get out um, there was a little bit left that I like mixed in with another body wash um, just to like empty the packaging but yeah this is fine I would repurchase this again totally good product it's called it says hydrating body wash I don't know if that's true but it, it's not drying so there's that next up I have a toothpaste and I'm including a toothpaste because as a single person I feel like it <laughs> takes a long time to finish up a giant toothpaste like this and I did repurchase I didn't repurchase this one this is the crest 3d white arctic fresh it's fine I don't know if it really did whiten my teeth at all but I have switched over to Sensodyne, I think that's what it's called, the sensitive toothpaste, just because I do have a bit of sensitivity and I really should be using a sensitive toothpaste. Um, so yeah, I like I buy I buy things that are on sale <laughs> when it comes to toothpaste that are like generally whitening, maybe sensitive, but that's generally what I what I buy. A um, couple other items, and the reason why these are others or they're just not included in the total is these are the conditioners out of hair dye that I used like ages ago um, I took these traveling these are really great for traveling by the way if you don't finish them up when after you dye your hair which I generally do like I generally just keep it in the shower and finish it over the following weeks but sometimes I don't and what a great idea for these are is for travel so I did keep I think I still have like two more um, and I'm like ah, should I finish them up and I might I might I might just finish them up but the reason why these aren't aren't included in the totals is because I've already included the hair dye packages so like their their value has already been counted in a previous month even though they this part of the package was not completed um these ones also were like purple these were anti oh this one was anti brass conditioner and then this one was power shimmer conditioner glistens and hydrates um this one would have been from like a bleaching kit so, so yeah, and I got like those conditioners. They're actually pretty decent. I mean, they're supposed to be pretty moisturizing because generally after you dye your hair, your hair gets pretty dry. And then one last other item was just this little guy, a little pocket bag. This was, sorry, I'm so zoomed out. I'm not used to being this, this zoomed out. Can't even really see it. It's the Frosted Coconut Snowball from Bath & Body Works. There's like a little tiny bit left, which I might try and finish out. Um, but I'll, like I was taking this one to work and this is one that's like, it's still scented, but it's still pretty subtle, but it's still enough that like when I use it, people are like, hmm, that smells good. So I, I would repurchase this particular scent because I quite liked it. Okay, let's get into like some skincare things. So the first one is a makeup wipe pack. This one actually kind of dried out before I finished it. The last few, I would put a little bit of water on it, but I had to be careful because these disintegrate in water. Uh, just like put a little bit of water in it. And I was using it more like, I don't really use these on my face. I use them as wipes when I'm doing like swatches and stuff. Um, I've already opened the next pack. I should have been using these a bit faster though, I feel like, because um, they do have an expiry on them, which is this year. So, um, but again, like I don't really use them on my face, so I'm not too worried about that. I wouldn't really purchase these. Um, they're not strong enough to remove makeup. Like you really have to rub to try and get makeup off. So it's not, not ideal. Uh, they were a really good deal though. It was like $9 for a pack of three. And in each pack, I think there's like 30. Yeah, there's like 30 wipes. So it was a good deal, but I don't really like them. Um, one of the biggest empties is this. So I finished up the Course Cos RX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. So love this. You'll see something on the buy side. This is this is why I'm doing the empties first. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do love this. It does make a difference. I feel like it's just that added. If you have really dry skin, this is just that extra layer of, I notice when I don't use this. I notice when I don't use, so right now I have the uh, glycolic acid from The Ordinary. So if I don't use like an AHA, BHA type acid, particularly at night, um, and I don't use something like this at night, I notice the difference. Um, I would say more so the glycolic acid. I feel like my skin just has a bit of texture when I wake up. Um, but yeah, this just like, especially in the winter time, I tend to use more of this in the winter time than in the summer. Um, it just adds that extra layer of moisture. It's not just moisture, but it's almost like plumpness. That's 
the right word. My skin just feels a little more like not dehydrated, I guess. Um, yeah, I do like this product. I keep repurchasing it. I do notice when I don't have it or when I'm not using it. So this, this package is kind of wonky. <laughs> this is not what you think it is. Um, I did kind of keep a few little slivers in there, but again, I'm so zoomed out. I'm not even sure you're going to be able to see inside this at all. Um, this was the Good Molecules Hydrate and Cleanse Bar. So like their facial uh, soap bar, I guess. And I love that product. I bought it twice. I haven't since repurchased it just because, I mean, it's super affordable. It's about $7 and it takes me like a whole year to use it. I purchased this in May of last year. It's just, I can't just purchase that. <laughs> like if I could just go to the store and purchase that, it'd be super affordable. But the problem is I end up buying other stuff because of like shipping or whatever. Um, generally because of shipping because it's just not affordable and then exchange rate because it's, it's not a Canadian product. Um, but I do really like the product. I do see myself purchasing it in the future. However, I did purchase something. So again, <laughs> there's a reason why I'm doing the empties first because uh, you'll see what's on the opposite side. But yeah, I do really enjoy that product. Um, it's one of those things too, like if you are doing a purchase at Beautylish, I think Good Molecules has their own website now though too that you can purchase from. But if you are doing a, a shop at Beautylish and you're, you're trying to buy something to get to shipping, I highly recommend this soap bar. I think it's really, really nice. It's not drying at all. It helps, it even removes makeup. Like I don't, I always double cleanse, but even if there's like a bit of makeup left over from my like initial cleanse, it does help remove any like remaining bits of makeup. So yeah, it's definitely something I would repurchase. This product I've had much longer than I realized. Um, this was a Sephora mask. It's the Sephora banana cream mask. It says in the pack, it says on the package five uses. I probably got 25 uses out of this for the way I use it anyway. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this. I don't even think you can uh, repurchase this. I bought this in 2019. That's how long it took me to finish this guy. Um, I do have a couple other masks that I'm like, I need to, I need to work through them. There is a little bit left in there, but I'm not, it's not worth scraping out. Um, and it's not like a full face or anything. So yeah, like, I don't know if I would repurchase this, even if I could repurchase it, but it was fine. Again, I think this was something that was in the sale. This, this goes back to my days of like perusing the sale section and buying like two or three things in the sale section to get to shipping from Sephora. And it was always like random stuff. And that this was one of those random things. I have a bunch of samples here. So I've been trying to work through, I have like a bin of samples that I've been trying to work through. I was, I was doing a good pace and then I kind of stopped. Uh, so I need to get back into it, but I do have three samples here. One is the Bioderma Sensei Bio H2O Micellar Water. I actually have a full size. I think it's this that I have a full size of at home um, because I use micellar water at my family home. No, it's okay. Nothing. No, no, we don't need to tell them. It's okay. So this is one of his quirks. <laughs> he sometimes barks at the door when people or animals walk by. No protect. We don't need to protect. But he's getting better. Like he was, you know, running at the door and barking. I mean, he still does sometimes, but most of the time he just sits now and he's just like, <laughs> I'm grumpy. You stay away. All good. All good. Yes, good boy. Um, I've got this nice cinnamide. This I can't even. I don't know. It was Tia Tia M. I don't know. The the label on the front is. I don't know what it is. Uh, Vita B3 source. It was a nice cinnamide. Kind of makes me realize how much I do miss having a nice cinnamide in my routine. I haven't been using one for at least six months now. Um. I do like niacinamide. I feel like it just helps sort of brighten and helps with the texture of my skin. Um, but it is an extra step. Like I, it's not a, at one point I felt like it was a necessary step. Now that I haven't been using it, I'm not sure it's so necessary. Um, but I wouldn't mind having it back in my life if that makes sense. Um, I've been kind of simplifying, like as I've been sort of using down products, I haven't, and again with being on the note, but I haven't been replacing items. So I feel like my skincare routine has simplified a little bit. Um, and I do kind of, I kind of miss being a little extra with some of my skincare. Um, but yeah, so there was that guy. And then this was just a Clarins. Um, they call it the multi-active jour. Um, basically just a daily facial moisturizer. Um, it was fine. It was actually a pretty decent size sample. This was one of the samples, like if you're in Shoppers Drug Mart and you purchase, you're buying like a beauty item or just kind of whatever, they throw in. They usually have a couple samples that they throw in. So she threw this one in for me. 
And then I have one hair product. Again, it was a sample. This was the Phyto Paris Exceptional Mask for Ultra Damage, Brittle, and Dry Hair. So a hair mask. Um, I liked this. I used to have a Phyto uh, Paris product because you used to be able to get this brand at Sephora. And I don't think you can get it at Sephora. I think it was like, I want to say it was a hair oil. I can't remember. It came in like a kit and I remember I really, really liked it. And I searched high and low to try and find that product. And by the time I was ready to buy it, like full size, it was like gone. Like maybe it was repackaged or relabeled or something. Um, but I couldn't find it anymore, but it was fine. Um, I don't think I ever purchased this particular product. It didn't like blow, blow my mind away. My hair is very, very dry right now. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. I do need to cut it. Um, I just, I keep putting off cutting it, but I probably need to cut off like at least, at least an inch. Um, it's very, very dry. It was breaking off a lot. I feel like it's getting better now. I really tried to reduce, like I'm, I'm washing my hair maybe like twice a week. Um, and I'm trying to like ease off on using like the hair dryer and things like that. I'm just trying to be gentler with my hair because it was really, really breaking for a while there. It was really, I was getting a little worried. I'm like, uh oh, it's really, really breaking off. And it's definitely a lot thinner right now than it normally is. Like if it's just my regular hair. Uh, but yeah, this was fine. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. Mm -hmm. This took a couple days. He wouldn't let me pet him the first couple days. But I was surprised. By day three, we were good for the most part. He still won't let me pet him sometimes, which is fine. Like that doesn't bother me. Like, you know, I have boundaries. Don't touch me sometimes, <laughs> actually most of the time. Like I get it sometimes. So again, I'm gonna tangent with some, with dogs, especially little dogs. People like to manhandle little dogs and then they get angry because the little dog bites them. <laughs> and it's like, well, would you like to be manhandled? <laughs> like not all dogs like to be roughed up. Not all dogs like you right in their face, just like people, you know, people are all different. Um, and I have three makeup items. One is just a little sample. Again, I think I've talked about this. I, I keep finishing up these little like, uh, foundation samples. I'm forgetting to put them in here, but this one I did. This was the, all I know is it's the S Clean Sephora. I don't know which line it was, but it was the Sephora foundation. And I remember liking this the first time I used it. And then when I used it again, I'm pretty sure it's this product. It didn't look good. And I think it's just one of those foundations that like, if you're having a good skin day, it'll be fine. But if you're having a bad skin day, it's, it's, it's not going to cover that up. It's not going to work well with a bad skin day. Um, so there's that little sample. And then I had the eyeshadow that I finished, the Carly Bible from the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. This was sort of what I was calling the pinky brown shade it's hair. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy. I have a finished eyeshadow. So that's, that's like a, to me, that's a full size, that's a full size eyeshadow. That's a full size product in my, my opinion. Um, and then also another full size item. This is the Sugar Cosmetics Cool of Honor Intense Kajal in Blackout. And I got this in an Ipsy box and I would definitely repurchase this. I really like this product. I believe this is an Indian brand. I, I am probably going to do an order from their website. Um, I would like to try some more of their products and I would like to repurchase this. I really liked this eyeliner. I thought it was really, really good. I'm using the Wet n Wild. So what I have on right now is the Wet n Wild waterproof retractable pencil, same kind of, same kind of format as this. And I'm not liking it. <laughs> um, it's just not as black. It's not going over the eyeshadow like that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing like a very sparkly thick eyeshadow. It's not thick, but sparkly pigmented. That's the word. Thick. Pigmented is the word I was looking for, which I will talk about in a second. Um, but yeah, I just, it's interesting switching from one product to another. It makes you, makes you directly compare them and realize how much you liked a particular product over another product. So, so yeah, so that's that. So that's all the empties. I was kind of hoping it was gonna be a little bit more. There was two items that I thought might have been finished that weren't, but they'll probably be, well, at least one of them I can see being in my next empties. Um, so total, so let's talk about totals for empties. And not a bad month. This is my second biggest month in terms of number of items. I've had 11 items, although fair number of samples. Dollar value, not great. Uh, I think it's my lowest month of dollar value, $44.03. Um, or retail value was $68.42. So not a great month in terms of dollar, but 11 items and some items that I'm glad I've moved out, like <laughs> 2019, like let's get some of these things done, girl. Um, okay, so that's the empties. Let's get into the haul side. Okay, so for the haul side, I'm not gonna talk about um, previous months I was talking about a lot of other stuff that I was buying. 
This is really going to be mostly just talking about the beauty stuff that I'm buying. The only thing I do want to mention is I bought a new kitchen table or like dining table or table. I, I have a really small place, so kitchen table, dining table, it's all the same thing. Um, my previous table was like a wooden table from Ikea, which I loved because it was like wood. It was a proper wood table. It wasn't like the MDF or whatever. It was very small and I found it really hard to work on because I just didn't have enough room on it. But I do have a really small place so it fit nicely in my place. So yeah, I'll throw up a picture of the, the table that I ended up buying. I bought it from Canadian Tire. It's still, it's a cheap table. It's like Ikea <laughs> type table and it is MDF, but it looks nice. And um, I actually saw it on multiple websites. So I saw it on like Wayfair. I think I saw it on The Brick or Leon's. I saw it on a couple of different websites, but I ended up getting it Canadian Tire because it was the cheapest through Canadian Tire. And I just did like a pickup, like a, I was gonna say grocery pickup, but basically that's what it's like, curbside pickup. Um, it was fun getting it up to my apartment by myself, but I did it <laughs> and it was pretty easy to put together and it looks nice. It's a little big, but I'm getting used to it. Like when I first put it together and I put it up, I'm like, oh, it's way too big. I mean, it's really not, but just the other table was so small that it, it just looked a little bit weird. So anyway, that was my big, that's been a big purchase for me. I've had the little table that I was using. It's like a card table, basically the size of it. I have had since almost 20 years. Like it's basically the only table that I've ever used, um, pretty much ever. <laughs> so I've had it for like 20 years. So it's been a, it's a big change to have like a totally different table. Next step number two is buying a new new coffee table. I don't have a proper. I have a weird configuration right now of like three tables. <laughs> I won't explain it. Uh, but anyway, so that's that. So. The other thing that I purchased quite a bit of, and I'm not going to go into detail, it's like I have done a Bath and Body Works um, purchase, well, a couple of purchases, but I did a whole video on that. So if you want to see that video, I will talk about all of these products in that video. But just to kind of recap, I did buy two body lotions. You can see this one I've already kind of used a fair amount. It, well, I feel like it's a fair amount. Um, it's the Fresh Coconut and Cotton. I love this scent. I want more, more of this scent. Uh, more things in that scent anyway. I do like it in the lotion anyway. And then I bought the at the beach lotion and then I bought um, a body wash in whipped coconut milkshake, which in hindsight, I will 100% admit I did not need to buy this. I was going through my box of things. So I have a box of things and I kind of changed how I use my Bath and Body Works stuff. Normally I would like use something till it was done and then move on to the next item. I've been sort of swapping in and out a little bit more uh, lately, like the past, I'd say six months or so. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to pull out a new body wash because I had, I think it was like the orange and ginger moisturizing body wash. And I was like, I'm going to put that away because I know I have an at the beach moisturizing body wash that's like half done. So I'm going to pull that out. And then I discovered I have an at the beach body wash. So, and it's pretty much full. So basically what I'm going to do is I talked about this going to my, these two going to my family home. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep this here in my place in Toronto. And then I'm going to take this and the at the beach body wash to my place, uh, to my family place. So I have like an at the beach body wash lotion set at home. So there's that. And then I did buy one of these, which I know I shouldn't have bought, but you know what? I'm not mad about it. It was two bucks. And it's the Warm Vanilla Sugar Fine Fragrance Mist. I already have one of these that I've already mentioned that I've had to like slow down on because I was like flying through it and I was using it like all the time. And I like it because it's just like a plain, I mean, it has like notes in it, but it's a fairly plain vanilla, like warm vanilla scent that layers really nicely with a bunch of other fragrances that I have. So that's kind of, I was like, I was definitely using it to death. So I was like, okay, let's let's slow off on that. So, but then I bought another one, so I don't have to slow off anymore. So what I was going to do was I was going to wait until body care day and buy the full size, but I like the minis. I just like the minis. They're, I don't know, they're just more pleasing to me size wise. And I feel like I can change and swap them in and out. The, the big ones are overwhelming. And it's like, I don't think I, I can ever finish like a full size one ever. That'll be like a miracle. If I'm still filming videos in 10 years, <laughs> And I actually finish one of those. It'll be like, I'm done. We can we can shut the channel down. We can finish everything because I have achieved like the ultimate finishing a fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. Anyway, the next thing I purchased was a lip balm. This is the Sun Balm lip balm, and I purposely picked picked this one because it's SPF 30, and I like this. This is nice. It's in the coconut scent. I didn't realize they had like they have three different scents. I think there was coconut, banana, I think, and then something else. Maybe. 
watermelon something there was another one uh, but yeah i needed an spf uh lip balm these are spf lip balms and me like even this guy's like where is it where is it because it was in my purse before filming this and it's like i'm gonna lose this before i finish it i always lose my SPF lip balms before I ever finish them because they're the ones I take traveling, like the ones I take to the beach, I throw in my purse. They're the ones that tr go out in the world with me and somehow they want to venture off on their own <laughs> at some point and I lose them. So, so yeah, that's the only SPF lip balm I think that I have. So again, I talked about finishing up that Good Molecules facial soap. So I did purchase this guy. I do have another facial soap, the Life brand, like hydrating one. I don't like it. I, I can use it, but I don't, I don't love it. I don't want to say I don't like it. I don't love it. It's, it's usable. Um, but I like to have a facial soap in my shower as well as one by my sink. So that's why I needed to buy a new one. What I was going to do at the time, I talked about this, I think in my last video was I had, I did finish up one of these and I had the packaging for it. And so I was going to split the life brand one between the two packaging, two packages, but I don't like the life brand one <laughs> that much. So I'm like, I don't want to do that. Um, although I guess I would have got it finished sooner, but anyway, I went ahead and bought this and I went ahead and bought this because it was on sale. Um, this retails like 18, $19. It's way too expensive and it's actually dirty. Um, and it was on sale for 10 99. I think is what I paid for it. Yeah. 10 99 plus tax. So it was worth just picking this up now because I wanted to use it. Um, again, next purchase. So this is why I'm doing the purchases after because you can see now. The purchases are replacing the things that I finished. Um, so I did buy the Advanced uh, Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence from Cost RX. This I've actually already opened. Uh, I just threw it in the box to like show that it's a new one. It's a new box. I don't know why. That doesn't make any sense. Everybody kind of knows what the box looks like. But yeah, you can see I've already I've already kind of used a little bit of this. Um, and like like I said, I like the product. I don't think I need to see, say anything more about that. And then one thing I did buy, which I thought I would have had empties for, but I didn't, uh, but I'm close to, so I did buy this. So when I bought the Course RX, I bought it at Tsukoshi Mart. So in Eaton Center now, well, we've had the mini so market for like a couple of years now um, in various places downtown, which doesn't really have a whole lot of makeup items um, or beauty items. We've had the face shop for a few years, which has some make, uh, makeup and beauty, well, it has makeup and beauty items, so mostly skincare. Um, and then we've got, now there's Sakoshi Mart and then there's another store on the top floor. I think it's the top floor. No, it's not the top floor. It'll be the middle floor. Um, I don't know what it's called though. And they've got like a lot of the same products. I'm like, I am like super thrilled that we're getting all this like K-Beauty, J-Beauty stores now. Um, except for it's way more expensive than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> So that's the downside um because i kind of thought k beauty was supposed to be a little bit more affordable but it's not at all um so this guy i did pick up this is the i think you say make prem so it's make p colon rem or make p rem um it's a cleansing oil to gently remove makeup and blackheads with seed oils so this is a cleansing oil i'm hoping it's what I want it to be, which I really like the Josie Moran Argan Oil Cleansing Oil. And I've been using the BFD one from ColourPop. I was, I talked about this, I was going to place a ColourPop order. I've been on and off about placing a ColourPop order and I was going to buy that again because it is more affordable technically than the Josie Moran one. However, I think this ended up being from a like milliliter to, to cents more affordable. This is a much bigger package. Um, I should have grabbed the, I haven't even opened this. I haven't even opened this yet. Okay. This is 210 milliliters. I'll put in the, like the pricing of this versus the BFD from ColourPop. And I think, I think per milliliter, this one worked out more affordable. If not, it was one of those things like this was right in the store and it was not too expensive. It was 20, what was it? $25. So I paid $25, that's including tax, uh, 20, 25 dollars so $26, 25 dollars um, And I looked like on, like I could probably have got it a bit cheaper on YesStyle or Stylevana if I waited and done, you know, bigger purchase or whatever, but it was right there. And I didn't need to buy other stuff. <laughs> so, so yeah, so next video, I don't know if I'll finish the BFD by next video, but I also have another makeup remover. I think from Quo potentially. It's from somebody else. It's like a different kind. Um, it's like the oil water one where you shake it. 
and put it on a cotton pad. So that one will probably be finished. And then, yeah, so basically then I'll be back down to, so I have three makeup removers right now. I have, well, four, I guess, including that one. I have the BFD one, the cleansing oil. I have the the one I talked about, the so oil makeup remover. And then I have the micellar, not micellar, the Marcel makeup pads, which I always kind of keep. Like I, I always buy those. I like to have those always on hand. Um, so that's, that's where that comes from. So again, I'm hoping it's making sense <laughs> with what I've purchased, except for the Bath and Body Works stuff. Everything else was like necessary. Bath and Body Works was the indulgent piece, which is a fairly affordable indulgent because I, it was SAS sale. And then the last thing that I purchased was completely an indulgent purchase. However, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not going to give a but. I mean, I didn't need to buy this at all. The reason why I did buy it now was, so I'm just gonna say what it is. It's Odin's Eye. <laughs> it's the Odin's Eye Jewels and Gem Palette. And I feel like I've missed out on Odin's Eye a number of times. I missed the, the Christmas Eve palette. I really, really wanted to buy. Um, Tina's palette, Fancy Face palette, I really wanted to buy. And I just held off on buying them and they're both gone. I can't buy them now. So I don't know how this came up. This came up on a couple people's videos and I was like, huh, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. So then I then I started searching for videos on it. And um, this is what it looks like. I don't know how well the camera's going to focus on it. Uh, I was like, yep, yep, yep. I need that in my life. I need that in my life. And I need to buy it now because if I wait, it's going to be gone. Um, I think it's still available, by the way. <laughs> it's not gone yet. Um, but out of the two palettes, I definitely, I really like this one. I want to do a whole video on this, so I'm not going to talk about it too much right now, but it is what I am wearing on my eyes right now. I have been wearing it over, I've had it for about a week and a half, I want to say. Um, and I've been wearing it pretty much every day. I've even worn it to work. Like I can definitely wear this to work too. It's a, it's a little, it's maybe a little much <laughs> at some points, but there's a couple of shades in here that are like work wearable to me at least. Um, you can definitely, you know, tone it down or you can definitely do like a, a really bold look with this um really enjoying the formula of this yeah I don't want to talk too much about it because like I said I do want to do a whole video on that let me know if you are interested in a whole video on this um it'll probably just be like swatches and a couple of, like showing images of a couple of eye looks and then just sort of my opinion on the palette itself um but so far like two thumbs up for me and it was a bit pricey so in total everything included it was $62 Canadian. I did use Lauren May Beauty's like 5% discount and that works out to like $4 a shade, like $4.30 a shade. So I figure when you break it down per eyeshadow shade, that's actually still pricey. Like it is an expensive palette for, for me anyway. Anything over $40 is an expensive palette for me. Um, but I feel like it, I feel like it's been totally worth it. Like totally worth it. It's a totally unique palette uh, for anything in my collection at least. And I've always wanted to try this brand. Again, I said I, I'm sad that I missed out on a couple of couple of palettes in the past, like especially the Christmas Eve one. And I did really the Tina palette's completely different. The Christmas Eve palette, I feel like it's very similar to that, at least visually, like on first blush, like when I'm thinking mentally in terms of the color range. I don't know how similar they are. I've never, obviously I've never done a full comparison, um, but yeah. So so that that was my big. My big splurgy splurge purchase. So let's talk about the total. So this was expensive because that palette was $62. So that's the only makeup item I purchased this month and that was $62. And the skincare between, I had the cleanser, the serum, and the makeup remover, that was $86. So that was a big category, but all of those are replacement items. So in total for June, I did spend $156.20 with a retail value of $211.88, and I did bring in nine items. So again, big month, not as big as May. I didn't bring in as much as May. Um, but I feel like for the most part, the the big thing or the the unnecessary thing was really the Bath and Body Works stuff. I could have I could have not bought the Bath, bath and Body Works stuff at all. So Anyway, I'll put up on screen the, put in the, the buys, we'll, we'll do this the normal way, the buys on, I think it's this side, and then the good buys on this side, just so you can see the side by side. If you want some totals, because I guess we're halfway, oh my God, we're halfway through the year. What's happening with time? Um, in total so far this year, I have spent 
$435.33 with a retail value of $648.19. And then on the empty side, I have, oh, and how many items was that? Let's, sorry, how many items was that? It was, I brought in 30 items. Um, most of them were last month. I brought in 16 items last month. That was a big one. Um, and then on the empty side, I have finished a dollar value of $284.39 with a retail value, which is huge, $718.79. And I finished 53 items. So yay. So, so far on the whole, I'm actually doing pretty good, even though paid value, but paid value because I buy a lot of stuff, especially the older things that I'm finishing up are from like Ipsy and BoxyCharm, so they're more expensive, or they're from like things that I purchased through points with uh, Shoppers Drug Mart. So yeah, on the whole, on the whole, the no buy was worth it. Um, I guess kind of talking about that for a second, like I said, I'm, I'm off, I'm off the no buy. Um, I do have some mentally planned purchases for July. Um, and some ideas for some planned purchases for later in this year, but those are kind of TBD. But July, I kind of, I kind of already know what I'm probably going to buy in July. I still have put off buying the Ordinary Eye Serum because it's so expensive. I think what I'm going to do is hopefully wait until November when they do their like slow vember sale because they, they don't do a Black Friday sale. And I'm really hoping that product is, because sometimes some products I don't think are part of the sale, I think, maybe not. I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit worried that I'm going to wait and then that product's not on sale. But I think I can wait. I think I can wait until their um, sort of quote unquote non-Black Friday sale because um, it's like $98 or something. I can't remember what it was. It was like $100 for an eye serum. And I'm like, damn girl. Like I know your under eyes are a hot mess and you want to make them better, but is that really worth it? Is that really going to help as much as you, I know like the basically alternative is surgery and I just, I don't think I want to go there. Not with my eyeballs. Not yet. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to start tangent, tangent talking now. <laughs> so we're going to end this video now. If you like this video, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.